Black Magic Intensity, Windows 8, and the blue screen of death. Are you fellas out there having the same blue screen issues I was having whilst using Windows 8 and the Black Magic Intensity shuttle for USB 3.0? <gasps> well, today is your lucky day. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Marcus from Multi Machine Productions. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how I fix the incompatibility issues of Windows 8 and Black Magic. And go. <laughs> First off, I would like to say that upgrading to Windows 8.1 does fix the automatic freeze and blue screen when first plugging in the black magic, however 8.1 seemed to cause more problems for me than it fixed, so I'd recommend this method rather than upgrading the operating system, as this method is really easy to undo if you ever need to or happen to make a mistake in the process, and no damage can be done to your computer assuming you follow the instructions. Please do tell us in the comments if this does indeed help, and subscribe if you want to show us your support. For this demonstration, I'll be using my old budget-friendly laptop, the Asus F501A or X501A as it's known in other countries, so I can guarantee success with that laptop and with the Dell Inspiron 15 as that is my current working laptop. Now I know it goes without saying, but I'd like to point out the fact that this is the USB 3.0 version of the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, so in order to use it, you must make sure your laptop or PC is equipped with an onboard USB 3.0 slot. Also make sure that before you attempt this, you have uninstalled all Blackmagic software and drivers on your laptop or PC. So what you're going to want to do first is right-click the corner of this screen and head on over to the Device Manager. Then, under Universal Serial Bus Controllers, you need to make sure you have Intel USB Extensible Host Controller. If this is indeed in your driver list, then you're good to go. If not, I'd recommend contacting Blackmagic Support as they are very helpful and help me find this fix. After confirming that you do indeed have this USB 3.0 driver, you're going to want to download the Intel driver package from the link located in the description. Once downloaded, you must extract the zip file to a simple location such as the desktop and proceed to download the two Windows 8 modified .inf files from the links also located in the description. After downloading those two files, we need to enter the extracted Intel drivers folder and head to the drivers xhci win7 x64 folder though sometimes the XHCI folder does not exist and it goes straight to the Win7 folder. Once in that folder, take the two separately downloaded files and place them in the folder overriding the default Intel files. Now we're going to open the sidebar, go to Settings and click Change PC Settings. Head down to the General tab and scroll through until you see Advanced Startup and click Restart Now. A scary blue screen will appear but don't worry, it's a good kind. Click on Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, Startup Settings and Restart will be given a screen to select our options. Simply press the button that corresponds with Disable Driver Signature Enforcement and your computer will restart with this option enabled until the next restart. Well, once we're back in, head back over to the Device Manager and double click on the USB 3.0 driver we looked at earlier. Under the Driver tab, you should see that the driver provider is indeed Microsoft. So you'll want to click Update Driver, then Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Afterwards, click Have Disk, then when a window opens up, click Browse and head over to the driver folder where we added those two files and select the one that ends in 3xhc.inf and click OK. A screen will appear warning you that the driver is not digitally signed, which is exactly what we want, so proceed to confirm it. Once installed, head back on over to the advanced startup the same way I showed you before and click Restart to end up back on the friendly blue screen. You're going to make the same choices you made the last time in order to disable driver signature enforcement yet again, and once restarted you're going to head back into the device manager. Once in device manager you should see an unknown devices or other devices directory with a device literally named unknown device. To be sure you have the right one, double click it and open the details tab, change property to hardware IDS and check the values for vid underscore 8086. Once it is confirmed, you're going to use the same procedure as before to update the driver software. However, after clicking Browse My Computer, you will be required to identify the type of device. Just scroll down until you find and select Universal Serial Bus Devices. Click Have Disk, then Browse, and in the same folder as the previous file, find the file that ends in hub.inf, and click OK. Once again, you will receive the message of warning about the driver not being signed. Just accept and install it. Once completed, restart your computer the usual way and head back to Device Manager to check the USB drivers and you should see now that they have changed from Microsoft to Intel. And just like that, you're done. You may now install the Blackmagic software and run the Intensity Shuttle for 3.0 smoothly. Your experience may vary with every PC and laptop. 
To undo the changes, just click uninstall for the drivers we installed and then under the actions menu of the device manager, click scan for hardware changes and Windows should reinstall it using the standard Microsoft drivers. Alternatively, updating the 3.0 drivers may also revert it back to its original state, so avoid updates if you want to continue using your Intensity Shuttle. Alright, so let us know in the comments if this did or did not help you. Be sure to like it up so that other strugglers can find the solution too. Subscribe for more tutorials as well as gaming videos and most importantly, I'm Marcus from Multi Productions. Have a nice day.